Hey, what is going on YouTube? It is me, your boy Cytrix, coming with you with LEGO CITY UNDERCOVER. Yeah, I decided to do this game for an another, decided to do another Let's Play, sorry. And guess what? I actually let people decide on my gaming community, in, U in U my YouTube gaming community in Google+. And if you guys are really interested in learning about, um, see, in finding out more how to grow your channel, and like me, who are trying to get make a big name for themselves out there, I'll leave it a uh, link in the in the description below, so you can become a member and join and join me and some other gamers grow and help us uh, get some social understanding. So let's just start with a new memory. Okay. Yes. Uh huh. Of course. Now let's go. The one thing I hear about this game is progress bars. A warm welcome to all you listeners who just tuned in. You're listening to the sizzling sounds of Lego City Radio. And let me tell you that the forecast for today is hot, hot, hot. Lego City. It's been two years since I was sent away, but it made me a better cop, a smarter, faster cop. Ah. So what brings you back here, Chase McCain? An old acquaintance. A promise to keep. A debt of honor to be repaid. I meant business or pleasure. I have to fill in your paperwork. Maybe neither. Maybe both. Yeah, I really do have to tick one of the boxes. Whoa! Skill of an old sea dog, I slide her smoothly into port. <laughs> and what brings you to Lego City, young lady? Uh, this boat? Oh, fiddle pants! Mayor Gleason. Thank you so much for coming back, Chase. I know it can't have been easy for you. I had to get a new passport. I was referring to you leaving under a cloud, but okay. I'll get straight to the point. Rex Fury has escaped and is at large in Lego City. What? Is Natalia okay? Natalia's fine. She's still in witness protection. I have to speak to her. I'll get you her number. But if you really want to protect Natalia, find Rex Fury and bring him to justice. Again. Chase, this city is in the grip of a crime wave. Really? Yes, look! Hey! And I'm certain Rex Fury is behind it. You're the only person I trust to stop him, Chase. Get to the station, 
and get me Rex Fury. Chapter 1, New Faces and Old Enemies Impressive. The limousine drived, even though it had no wheels, but bricks. <laughs> oh, good old Lego logic. Studs! You can be good use for currency later. I really just like how when the first time I played this, I, I noticed how different it was from the, Leg from the Lego version in the Wii U. In the Wii U version, sorry. But, anyway, yeah. It's been such a long time since I played this game. Very cool. Very nice. Alright, let's get driving. Okay, driving now. Let's to the turbo. Mm -hmm. Okay, basically driving here is more easier than GTA. <laughs> Out of the way, people. Alright, now where am I going? Uh, oh, right. Sorry. Oh, God. I'm already lost. Oh, come on. Reverse, reverse, reverse. Okay, no drive. Good. Hmm, a disguise booth. Let's take a peek at that. Can't be anything different. Let's see here. Cool. Mechanic. And a super brick. No, a golden brick, sorry. Now let's drive. Again. <laughs> My bad. Out of the way, Roadhog. And here is the police station. Thanks to my crappy driving. Need help with those donuts? No, I'm okay, thanks. I'm Frank Honey, by the way. Chase. Chase McCain. Chase McCain? You're a legend! Is it true that you brought down Rex Fury? Mm, just part of the team. Deputy Dunby made the actual arrest. And I'm not a legend. I'm an ordinary cop. Just like you, honey. Whoa! <laughs> well, maybe not just like you. So, you want to show me around this new station of yours? It would be my honor! I will wait for you inside. Okay.
Hello? Natalia. Ch Chase? Yeah, it's me. Are you okay? Charged! What do you think you're doing? You can't call me! I'm in witness protection! <gasps> witness protection? I was worried. Rex is out. I thought he might come after you. I know, but he's not after me. The chief of police himself told me that Rex fled the city. What? The mayor just told me he was still here. What? Should I? Uh, yeah. Oh! I just want to make sure you're safe. You're the reason I got into this mess in the first place. Where are you? I'm not telling you that. Natalia Smith to Mercy Heart's reception, please. Mercy Heart's hospital? No! Yes. But don't bother coming here, because if Rex could come after me, then I'm not sticking around. <laughs> Rex. Nosy receptionist. I've never seen more. The man on a phone call. Yeah, the guy's on a, the guy on a call and everything happens. Cleaning the stairs. So until we find the camera, we have to take mug shots by photo cut. What are you are doing, you Frank? Sure that's safe, Frank. Of course it's What the Hey there. This is our main computer. Mm -hmm. He doesn't usually smoke like this. Computers aren't supposed to smoke like that at all. Triggered a security alert and locked down the elevator, but it only blew up when Frank tried repairing it. With a hammer. No wonder. As much as I love putting Lego bits back together, try to be more careful. Because computers are not supposed to smoke like that at all, and they're not supposed to be repaired with a hammer! Main computer operational. Security lockdown lifted. Elevator functionality restored. Eh, not bad. I'll try and find out who hacked it. Oh, if you get stuck, I'll help you. I know everything about computers. Computers. Yes, computers. Basement time! Okay. So, until we find the cam... Fine, Madam Mayor. I'll brief the officers on Rex, but I still say he's long gone from here. Meddling fool, making me hire some specialist she's brought in from overseas. Chase McCain? Dunby, you're the new police chief? Ugh. Right. I might not like giving you a job, McCain, but it does mean you have to follow my orders. First one, get down to the basement and get a uniform on! Are you two old friends? Honey, did you put those essential supplies on my desk? Yes, Chief! I'm going to my office. I'll be giving a briefing on Rex Fury in ten minutes, even though he's probably a million miles away from here by now. Do not disturb me! Wow. Yeah, he does seem in a better mood today. Come on, let's get you a uniform. This is our basement. That was a better mood. Yeah, this is sour. Let's smash some stuff. We use this bit. Over here. Coming. Studs. Chuck's vehicle request desk is in there. When you start, they only let you use one type of car. But if you're good at your job, you'll be able to get loads more! Yeah. How many types do you have, Frank? Well, we should probably move on now. Dodging the question, huh? <laughs> you got none. The those rooms is out of action. Chuck says it's for our own safety because a monster lives up there. <laughs> a monster. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't let it eat me. Uh, sure, Frank. What's behind this door? Oh, we'll come back to here. It's special. Come on, let's find you a uniform. 
We had a delivery this morning, so there should be one somewhere. There go the delivery. When I started, I had to use a hand-me-down from another officer. I look pretty good in a dress. Okay. Check inside those boxes. This is worse than gym class at school. Mm. Oh. Why is it that all furniture is self-assembly these days? Nobody really knows. Let's put together some Lego blocks. Done. And studs get spewed out. Let's see here. Uniform unlocked. Ooh. You've got your uniform. I'll show you the special place. It's the requisitions desk. Let's go. I hope Ellie's in. Oh. Ellie, you in there? Is that you, Frank County? Give me a minute. This is the requisitions desk and evidence locker. The girl who runs it is called Ellie Phillips. Hey there! Ah! <laughs> oh, I had no idea you were in. You just spoke to me. Hi there. I'm Chase. Yeah, it's the guy you told me about. Chase McCain! Well, it's nice to meet you, Chase McCain. My Uncle Duke told me all about you and that Rick's Fury case a few years back. Oh, yeah? Don't worry. There's a few of us in the station know you did all the real work on it. Phew. <clears throat> this is a police communicator. It does everything your old phone did and a whole lot more, including keeping me up to date with what you're doing. You'll need to connect it to the main computer in the lobby before you can use it. You think you can help Chase do that for me, honey? Uh, uh. Good boy. And I'll give you a call once you're hooked up, Chase. His name is so conveniently inconvenient. I mean, like, honey, Come like, on, anyway, it can mean it. anything, you know. <laughs> it's some kind of a joke. But now we're going to connect our communicator to the main computer so we can get to this work way, on some Chase. actual police. Stuff. <laughs> so let's go. There you are. Go on. Use the main computer. Computer. Communicator connected. Updating. One percent complete. <sighs> Progress bars. Hey, Frank. Someone needs to wake the chief up. Oh. I work too hard. You don't. Well, I'm not waking him up. He'll fire me again. Eh, I didn't want to get briefed on Rex Fury anyway. You still got the key to his office? It's right here in my hand, isn't it? No. Oh, then I've lost it? 100% complete. I'll help you find it. The sooner he's awake, the sooner I can start doing actual police work. Thanks. I think I lost it upstairs! All right. Hmm? Okay. Hey, Hi, Ellie. Chase, you got the communicator working. Yeah, but now I have to help Frank find a key he lost. No problem. I updated the software on your communicator and enabled its scanner. Its screen will show you stuff you wouldn't be able to see otherwise. Like ghosts. <laughs> I told you, that was your reflection, Frank. Thanks, Ellie. I'll never forget his weird, googly eyes. <laughs> 
Does anyone want to break it to him and say that his, his weird googly eyes? But anyway, we got the detective scan now unlocked, so which means now we can look for hidden objects all over the game. But only in certain places. If you're like here. Donuts, never... You're gonna wake up the chief? Okay. After you're done with that, I've got a hornet's nest that needs whacking with a stick. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna do that! I've done it before. Although I thought that one was a pinata, but it wasn't. Because the candy made my mouth hurt. There it is. Worst birthday ever. Hey! You found it! I'll let you wake him up. I've got some important work to do. Video game time! Woohoo! Of course. If you're looking for donuts, then they're in the chief's office. Well, they were. Come on. You have to give the briefing. Wake up! <coughs> Don't wanna. <laughs> okay. Then let's try a really loud noise. Then let's do this. Anything else being wrecked up here? Let's try this on the side, now, shall we? <laughs> Jukebox! I was just resting my eyes and my arms and my legs. Oh, uh, it's you again. Fine. Briefing room! One minute! <laughs> Come on, settle down, people. Hey, Harry. How many coffees have you had? Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Did I have six shots or only five? Well... Okay, you've had enough. Right. I'm gonna take this from the top. The mayor thinks we should be looking for this man, Rex Fury. He's a giant! Rex somehow escaped from Albatross Island three months ago, although we still have no idea how, but that's not important. What is important is that you catch up. So make a note of that. Now, Rex Fury has been a habitual criminal since he was six years old. Good heavens. At that age, he would have still been in preschool. Elementary, my dear fellow. <laughs> we got our break when a secret witness came forward. Well, Secret until somebody accidentally gave their identity away. Natalia's testimony enabled us to arrest Rex. He tried getting away, but foolishly chose a lawnmower as his escape vehicle. Pull the lawnmower over! His other mistake was in doubting the ability of the man who finally arrested him! Me! If Rex is behind the crime wave, then he needs to be back behind bars. So, to help catch whoever's behind it, I've had security cameras installed at key locations. The museum, Forrest Blackwell's mansion, and, of course, the banks. What the... <laughs> Briefing's over! Everyone get to the bank! Oh, uh, just one more thing, Chief. Sometimes I feel like I was just watching a bad, a bad police zip com from the 90s. Oh well. But to be honest, some of those police, some old time police shows are very good. I mean, they sometimes help people get at least understand a little bit more of the police world. Even though some, most of it's just actors and stunt doubles and stuff like that. But still, it still gives you a good idea of what the police life is about. Like NCIS and Criminal Affairs. Um, cr no, I think Criminal um, Master Criminal Minds, I believe. Yeah. Oh well. You ready to fight? 
Need some crime, Chase? Remember, even though there's a crime in progress, we still have to drive responsibly. Of course. Last one there has to buy all the Chiefs donuts for a month. Hey, Chase, I've updated your communicator again and turned on the navigation system. You can use it to find your way around Lego City. I've marked the location of Cherry Tree Bank on it with a police shield. Useful. With this, I'll be able to get around more easier. That's perfect. Now just follow the green line and it'll take you straight there. Navigation unlocked. Let's see. Okay, so now we have our first mission. Chase? Huh? Yes, honey. I've gone the wrong way. Can we call that bet off, please? <sighs> Wasn't expecting him to be much help, but <laughs> I guess he's just here for comic relief. But anyway, guys, I you well usually it hasn't been thirty minutes yet, but I think I'm just gonna leave the episode here for today. To test my bearings, I think that I did pretty good so far, and I think so far the series might be a good a good stop, a good rest, a good chance to change directions. So, I'll so basically I just leave it here. So if you guys really had liked this episode, please leave a like, comment down below, and also subscribe to my channel for some more gaming content. And I'll see you guys next time for some more Lego City Undercover. This has been Citrix, and I'll see you guys when things get freaky.